In July of 1972, the Washington Star newspaper broke the story about the controversial Tuskegee Institute syphilis experiment. For 40 years, from 1932 until 1972, the U.S. Public Health Service, in partnership with Tuskegee, secretly studied the effects of untreated syphilis in African-American men in Alabama. 600 black men, 399 with syphilis and 201 without the disease, were induced to participate in the experiment. Nearly all of them were poorly educated, impoverished sharecroppers. In exchange for participating, they were promised free medical exams, hot meals, and a burial stipend. The men with syphilis were not told they were infected and were not treated even after penicillin was discovered to be an effective cure for the disease in the 1940s. Over the course of the experiment, 128 participants died of syphilis or syphilis-related complications. In 1972, when the paper exposed the details, the experiment was still ongoing. It incited public outrage over the unethical treatment of the participants which led to the experiment's termination that November. The following year, the NAACP filed suit on behalf of the survivors. The federal government settled the lawsuit for $10 million. It also agreed to provide survivors and their infected family members with free medical services. George Key is represented by... I'm saddened today to think of those who did not survive and whose families will forever live with the knowledge that their death and suffering was preventable. Mr. President... What was done cannot be undone, but we can end the silence. We can stop turning our heads away. We can look at you in the eye and finally say on behalf of the American people, what the United States government did was shameful and I am sorry. For only you, Mr. Shaw, the others who are here, the family members who are with us in Tuskegee, only you have the power to forgive. Your presence here ch shows us that you have chosen a better path than your government did so long ago. You have not withheld the power to forgive. Mr. Shaw, the others who are here, the it is against everything our country stands for. And what we must stand against is what it was. So let us resolve. Faire cette étude en Afrique, où il n'y a pas de masque, pas de traitement, pas de réanimation, un peu comme c'est fait d'ailleurs pour certains, certaines études dans le SIDA, où chez les prostituées, on essaye des choses parce qu'on sait qu'elles font. Elles sont hautement exposées et elles ne se protègent pas. Qu'est-ce que... Qu que vous en pensez Alors vous avez raison et d'ailleurs on est en train de réfléchir en parallèle à une étude en Afrique justement pour, pour faire ce même type d'approche avec le BCG, un placebo. Euh, je pense qu'il y a un appel d'offres qui est sorti ou va sortir et je pense qu'on va en effet euh, euh, sérieusement réfléchir à ça aussi. Ça n'empêche pas qu'en parallèle on puisse réfléchir à une étude aussi en Europe et en Australie.